So this is the third and last video on GCSE Venn diagram questions. And if you've watched the other two, you'll know that we've dealt with uh, drawing Venn diagram kind of questions. So that's this sort of thing. This is the notes from the first video. And we've got a paragraph. And in this case, we've got planes that are going to Europe and are delayed, or maybe both. And then we draw a Venn diagram and answer questions on it. That's the first thing. The second sort of question we can have is uh, just asking us about set notation. So things like what does A dash union B dash mean? And uh, the worksheet that goes with it uh, that I'm gonna use in my class this year in 2019 uh, looks something like this. So we're asked to shade in things like what does A intersection B look like? We're asked to color in things like what does A dash intersection B dash intersection C look like? And the third kind of question you might have to deal with the GCSE is where we put those two things together. So here we've got a question where we've got to fill in this Venn diagram and we've got to use the set notation. Now, if there was no set notation here, this would actually be quite easy. Let's have a look at it. We've got the universal set that says numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that tells us that somewhere in this rectangle we want to put the numbers 1 to 12, just the whole numbers 1 to 12. S is the set of square numbers, so all the square numbers go in this circle here. E is the set of even numbers, all the even numbers go in this circle here. So where do numbers go? Well, let's just work through it. One is, is it a square number? Yes. Is it an even number? No, it's not. So one is going to go out here. Take that off. What about number two? Is it a square number? No. Is it an even number? Yes. So that's going to go there. Okay. So once we know what the notation means, actually, this hopefully is fairly intuitive. This, this bit means square numbers and even numbers. This means even but not square. This means square but not even. So three is not square, and it's not even, it's gonna go outside here. Um, it's gotta go in the rectangle because this squiggle, this universal set is these numbers here. Number four is a square number and it's an even number. It's gonna go there. Number five isn't square and it's not even. Number six is even but not square. Number seven, not square, not even. Number eight, even but not a square number. Number nine, square but not an even number. Number 10 is even but not square. Number 11 is uh, not square and not even. And number 12 is even but not square. So that's where our numbers are gonna go. The next thing they might ask you to do on a GCSE question is something like this. So find S intersection E. So S intersection E is the overlap between S and E. So that symbol means intersection, it means the overlap, it means and. So the overlap between S and E is that. So in this case, S intersection E is just the number four. Okay, so the question might say, what numbers are in S intersection E? And you'd say just the number four. We might be able to ask to find E intersection S dash. So what does that mean? It means an even number and not a square number. So it needs to be outside of this circle needs to be inside of this circle. Now, if you want to, you could use the techniques from the last video and uh, work it out like this. E intersection S dash, so E would be this circle here. S dash would be everything outside of this circle here, the S circle, so everything outside of that. So the intersection would be this area here. So everything in this part of the diagram so E intersection S dashed, what numbers are in there? Well, it's 2, 6, 8, 10, and 12, okay? Second example. We're given a Venn diagram with the numbers filled in this time. And now we need to write down the numbers that are in set A union B. So again, if we, if we understand the notation, this shouldn't be too tricky. A union B means in A, set A, A um, or in set B, or in both. If you want to, draw a quick sketch. Set A is this set here, set B is this set here. That's a union, so it's all together. It's that bit and that bit, everything I've colored in, in either kind of shading. So that would be all of these numbers. It's nice to put them in order, but it doesn't matter. So 12, 14, 15, 16. I'm gonna tick them off as I go. 12, 15, 14, 16, 10, and 18. Okay, uh, A intersection B. That is everything that's in set A and in set B, everything that's in this overlap. So that's just gonna be 12 and 18. And watch out for these two, because look, they look very similar. And the biggest mistake in the exam would be just getting the right answers, but in the wrong places. And of course that would lose you the marks. One of the numbers in the diagram is chosen at random. Find the probability that the number, that the number is in the set A. And can you see that is a little dash there? So A dashed in the complement of A. 
Okay, so that means find the probability that the number is not in set A. So which numbers are not in set A? Well, these ones here are not in set A, and these ones here are not in set A. So if I pick a number at random, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers are not in set A, out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So seven out of ten are not in set A. All the GCSE questions you're going to meet should fall into one of those three categories, or maybe a mixture of two of those three categories, either take a paragraph, draw a Venn diagram, or understand set notation and identify parts of the Venn diagram, or um, this sort of question where you have to list the numbers that are in that part of the diagram.